Today I'm recreating the Trump shot with the same rifle and scope that the shooter used. 3D models are cool, but let's do a live fire scenario to really debunk these lefty conspiracy theories. Somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! This is not a pew pew. This is an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. Often confused with the M16, which is fully automatic. This one just shoots every time you pull the trigger, which is one times too many for liberals because they want this thing banned, banned, banned. Now we know from reports that the shooter went to Claritin Sportsman's Club 48 hours before the shooting to sight in his rifle. So we'll be sighting this in at 100 yards. I have a bipod on it right now to help sight it in, but I'll be removing it for the actual shot. Another change we're making is... God bless America. Another change I'm making is a 20 round magazine instead of the 30 round, which would actually interfere with sighting in the rifle. From inside sources, the scope was not magnified, meaning what you see is what you get. All you're gonna see is a little red reticle to help you put eyes on target. I'll show you what that looks like on the other camera. Now, a lot of my comments recommended me to the Fieldcraft Survival Channel, where there's inside sources that say the shooter used an EOTech non-magnified red dot scope. This thing is like the Rolls Royce of red dot sights. So why would he put it on a garbage AR-15 from DPMS? They call it the DR-15, the DR-15. I also tried this little $30 red dot that I got off of Amazon and this more mid-range red dot that I've had for like 15 years. The EOTech gave me my most accurate shots. Reports say he used this, so it's what we're gonna use. Fun fact, this scope costs more than the gun. Please subscribe so I can feed my family. All right, let's take a little trip and see how we did. Anyway, somewhat of a decent grouping. One of the first conspiracy theories is that the sound was fake. Apparently they piped in the sound of popcorn popping. That shit was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Also reports of multiple guns being fired up to three. So I've got a click track. We're gonna do three shots followed by a volley of five to six. So you can see what this rifle sounds like at 147 yards. We're gonna make America great again. They tried, they missed. What can I say, he was a little bitch. Should have named him Claire, he gave me an ear piercing. I don't know. Okay, enough with the Trump impersonation. For these next shots, you're gonna hear this microphone's audio, but me shooting way back 147 yards. Three quick shots, then I'm gonna follow that with a volley of seven or eight. Now I'm gonna be shooting far right from the target because I don't wanna hit my microphone and I don't wanna hit my camera. All right, back to the shooting bench. I really should have brought someone along with me. I feel very exposed that you're talking about conspiracy theories. It doesn't help that there's a black suburban out there. Would have had a black rock logo down the side of it. Ugh, I just felt the chill down my spine. I'm getting spooked. Let's get back to the rifle. Take a look at what happened. All right, it's time to get up, time to get some elevation and go to around the same height that the shooter was shooting from, from the roof. Now, common lefty conspiracy theory is that the shooter was only aiming for Trump's ear. I'm gonna show you how stupid and risky it would be to try to just shoot the ear of somebody from 147 yards on a red dot AR-15. Oh, so much broken glass. Ah. Have you subscribed yet? Here's my attempt at a reticle cam. You see how far out the distance it actually is. I'll be honest with you, I can't even really see the black dots that I use to designate as the ear. Now I don't have this mounted, so I can't show you the recoil, but when I shoot, basically I'm snapped back and I'm knocked off target. Meaning my first couple shots are paramount. Again, this is why it's strange that he used a mid-range, high-capacity rifle with a non-magnified optic. I've removed the bipod. I've put back on the 30 round magazine. We're gonna to try to hit just the ear. 
Just the ear at 147 yards, they said. It'll be easy, they said. Not even a problem, they said. Hot blanket like a hot metal roof. Now we're gonna send three shots, then we're gonna follow it up with a volley. Let's go see how many ear shots I got. Admittedly not my best group, but we got two headshots, uh, a few below and to the right of the ear, and then went one way over here on the left shoulder. Now, not specifically a gun channel. That's not the type of content I typically make, but I feel bad for gun channels. Everybody's a keyboard warrior saying that they can shoot much better than you can. Everybody's leaving comments like, I could shoot the wings off a of fly at 300 yards with a nine millimeter pistol. Back in the army, I can make that shot with both eyes closed and my butt cheeks taped together. Now they say about two minutes passed since he was spotted on the ground by civilians. And they started to call out that there was a man on the roof. He's got a gun. Now there are two things that saved Trump's life on July 13th. The first one's pretty well known. He turned his head just at that split second. That bullet skimmed right off that right ear. The second thing was the officer who peeked over the roof at the shooter. But Trump's head tilt and that officer Save Trump's life, and I'll show you why. We're going to reimagine this two-minute scenario leading up to the shooting, and I'll even give you the inner voice of the shooter as he was targeting in. Look, they're all pointing. Yeah, someone's on top. Oh, man, they see me up here? Geez, Secret Service didn't see shit. Wow, this is way different from Call of Duty. Gary is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. down. Oh man, I wish I was still in the basement at my parents' house, jacking off to anime. Uh, yeah, look, there he is. Holy shit, this is hot! Who knew a tin roof and 91 degrees could be hot? Oh, it's burning my balls. Oh wait, I don't have any. Cause I'm a little bitch. All right, he's been up here for a minute or two. He's sighted in on Trump. He's been able to sneak in a range finder. He's even done a drone flyover. He is ready to take out Trump. That's when this cop gets boosted up and his head appears up over the edge of the roof. Our shooter has to swing his rifle, aim it at the police officer. In doing so, he's just broken his line of sight. He's just taken the reticle off of Trump. It was almost immediately after that that he began firing. So I'm gonna do a sweep. Don't worry, there's no one behind this camera. I'm gonna try to get back on target. I smell bacon! Get out of here, pig! Swing back. Admittedly, I don't think I hit a single shot, <laughs> but let's go check. My target fell down. Thank you, kettlebells, for nothing. So I only got two on the paper. Looking back at this video, it looks like this was a tear in the paper from when it fell down onto a rock. <laughs> so correction, one shot, center mass. A lot of people are quoting the story about the shooter being kicked out of his high school rifle team. Because he's a terrible shot and actually a danger to those around him, he was that piss poor. But that was two years ago. A lot can change in two years. We know he regularly visited this Clareton Sportsman's Club with his father. There were over 20 guns recovered in the home where he lived with mommy and daddy. So what I hope to prove here is you don't have to be an expert marksman to hit this shot. It is difficult, but I will say it's impossible to just hit the ear and that would just be downright stupid. At the end of the day, there were so many incompetencies, indiscrepancies, so many things that just didn't add up. But there's really only two things that could have happened. Theory one, the shooter was a patsy, a fall guy, a distraction for the real shooter. The shooter was found with two encrypted international phones, possibly colluding with someone internationally or on the inside. The problem with this theory is that if there was another trained sniper, he missed the shot too. If this 20 year old with a garbage AR-15 and a red dot was supposed to create a distraction, then if there was a second shooter, he royally fucked up. There's a theory that the snipers that were in the same building that the shooter was shooting from were in on it. 
If that were the case, how did all three snipers miss their shots as well? If there were three guns used and multiple snipers, Trump's a hell of a lot luckier than we all thought. Second theory, the shooter was a depressed, ugly, bullied, suicidal dude, wanting to go out in a blaze of glory. So he chooses an AR-15, which is the mass shooter rifle, and by pure ineptitude by the Secret Service, he's able to get within shooting distance of Trump and get his name in the history books. Looking through his phone, it was found that he was looking at Trump and Biden's travel schedules, as well as schedules of a royal family member. No manifesto has been found. Yes, he was a registered Republican, but he also contributed to a progressive. The shooter also researched a mass shooter from Michigan who was prosecuted in 2021 after a high school shooting. The Trump shooter was also researching depressive disorder. Was the shooter part of an international conspiracy working on the inside with BlackRock? Or was this a depressed, suicidal young man who wanted death by cop, but wanted to go out in the biggest way possible and get his name in the history books? This picture was just too good not to put on a t-shirt. We will not fall. We will fight and we will stand together united. Proceeds from the shirt and from the conservativevibes.com store help to run privately purchased Trump campaign ads and to support the channel. Let's stand for Trump. Let's stand for America. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time on Conservative Vibes.